Guess what? What? It's beef and noodles night. Oh. Shit. No. Amish noodles rolls. Wait, when you say Amish noodles, are you trying to dink me on them little scrawny ass noodles or am I getting the full freaking <laughs> fat noodle deal? <laughs> full. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Beef and noodles, your favorite dinner. Yeah, but you sometimes you scam me with that chintzy shit. The last shit. time I used the Amish noodles, you said it was the best ever. Oh, I always say that. And then you don't get a gut ache from those thicker other noodles. A gut ache? Is that how you say nicely that I fart all night? You can't say that. Stop. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Look at this, the snow's melting. Oh God, but the freaking ice is still here. Jeez, and crackers. Come on, Fluffy, let's get in the truck before we die. Come on, baby, hop over there, get in your bed. There you go. Look at these guys, a couple of bums out here. You boys better do something productive today. That 2,000 Trumps in you ain't gonna last forever. <laughs> Tell them, girl. Get to work. <laughs> so, we're back to work. I got a little bit of gravel to haul today. Good job up in Granville. I'm trying to do some work in between blizzards. Every damn time I get started on something, it pours snow on top of me and it takes a month to dry out, it seems like. Luckily, I got the dirt work done. So now all we gotta do is haul a little gravel in there, straighten the driveway up. I can haul my equipment home and then probably start working on my own damn driveway now that we've tore the shit out of my own driveway. I mean, my God, there's mud and gravel flung everywhere from the band RC cars. Oh, good grief. Vicky's gonna kill me. Well, we're here at the job site. We're gonna try and tailgate limestone in late December. It's almost January. Nine times out of 10, that's a bad idea. Usually the ice chunks plug a tailgate and I end up in a hell of a mess, matter the hell. I, I, I'm saying we got about a 50 50 shot of seeing me have a freaking meltdown today. That's what I'm thinking. Here we go. Feels good to be out working again, in all honesty. No matter what happens with this YouTube craziness, I'm gonna keep working. I enjoy it. June loves it. She's in the truck over there, ready to go. You ready to go? You ready to go home? All right, come on, let's go. Get over there. Oh, you screwed up your bed, baby. You look, you got your bed all shoved out of the way. Come over here, come here. Let me get your bed fixed. All right, there we go. All right, go back on your bed. There you go. Oh, <laughs> we got we got to do something with this girl. This ain't right. It's too slippery. All right, let's go. I mean, you gotta admit though, I did have a 
design flaw on her little seat over here because it's so damn slippery. Her bed just slides all over the damn thing. I had to get on the brakes today and she ate the dash. She didn't move, but the damn bed underneath of her slid forward. I have to figure out something there. <laughs> I never did say I was a carpenter. You ready? You ready? Right, here we go. There's Scobies. Oh, let's go see if Billy did anything in the shop, girl. Come on. Let's go see what's happening. Want to? Come on. Let's go see what's going on. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, that's a new wing for the S10. Oh, got the gold member all cleaned up. All right, let's go in the house. Let's go see Grandma. Oh, it smells good in here, girl. Oh, it smells good in here. There's Grandma. It smells good in here. Yes, your beef and noodles is cooking. Haha. <laughs> I just got a call from Billy. He snuck off to the hobby shop without me. And he's buying another car. Or he bought another car. He bought a chassis and a bunch of parts. And I guess he's going to build the damn thing and raffle it. I don't know what he's doing. So I got to go out here and get things warmed up. I got the heat on out here in the shop. And... Uh, June, look at this, girl. Look what Kenny made for you, baby. Look. It's a raised platform bed for a little fluff. Look at that. That's awesome. That's for you, June. Yeah. A raised bed for Fluffy. Yeah, that's just for you, girl. That's just for you. I have to tell Uncle Kenny thank you. All right, so Vicky's still in there making dinner. And I'm out here in the shop. And while I had a few minutes of peace, I thought I'd come out here and work on my little 70 or actually this is a 69 Blazer RC project. So I really like those Traxxas Blazers. Those, they're rock crawlers is what they are. I really like them. But I just can't get into rock crawling so much. It's just too slow and quiet and you know, they're electric and I'm not big on electric. So I thought, well, this would be the next best thing. I'll take my favorite body that I've ever seen on an RC car and I'll couple that with my favorite monster truck, my monster GTs. So I got one here I'm working on, check this out. So I've got the body unmasked and uh, got it sitting on the chassis here, mocking it up. I've got the front factory bumper cut off because um, I'm gonna reuse some of this for mounting like a pre-runner bumper. Um, I've got the rear bumper mounted and I've got it figured out how I'm gonna do the body mounts. I just need to get some hardware to do it. As you can see, it's even got the little Reese hitch receiver under the bumper and the bumper's actually mounted. It's mounted to the frame and the body's sitting right where it's gonna sit. That's pretty cool. I love it. This is going to be sweet. Anyway, I've been out here working on this a little bit tonight. And uh, this body is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to keep it clean, though. <laughs> this one's going to have to have its own little car cover to cover it up. But I've got the front bumper here. And uh, I've got to figure out a way to mount the front bumper. But my plan get this front bumper mounted and then I'm gonna come off the factory bumper brackets with like a pre-runner bumper they make pre-runner bumpers for these crawlers and I'll probably go ahead and put LED lights on the light bar out front on the on the pre-runner and then I've got the factory light kit ordered to put lights uh, headlights and the turn signal lenses and tail lights the side markers all that stuff will light up and look real, but working on it. Let's go see what Junior's up to. Uh-oh. 
top secret stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to show anybody what you're doing. <laughs> what are you up to, Junior? Well, I was bored today, and since how a lot of people are looking for no prep drag cars right now, and they can't get them, yeah. either they're out of stock, slashers are out of stock, the team associated DR10s are out of stock, and. Uh, <laughs> Okay, try it again. <laughs> so the, the slashes are out of stock, the DR10s are out of stock everywhere you go, unless you want to get a kit, which nobody wants to buy a kit, honestly. Um, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are looking to get into this, and I feel like the market's there. So why not try to build one for a giveaway? So I enjoy building them, and I like testing them. Um, maybe it'll save somebody some time, and they can get some fun out of it, so. I'm going to build a, a drag car and I'm going to raffle it or give it away on the street racing channel. Really? Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to build it, we're going to test it, we're going to race it, we're going to prove that it's fast, and then we're going to, we're going to give it away. So uh, what we haven't told anybody is that everybody's been starting off with a slash. That's a slash box. But in all honesty, the cheapest possible way to do this is a bandit, yep. which is just a little 10 scale buggy. It's a Traxxas 10 scale buggy. And when you buy the slash, what you're actually doing is you're converting a slash to a bandit with a low CG, low center of gravity chassis fan. So it's not actually a slash, it's more of a slash and a bandit put together and shoved underneath of a drag car body. So what you've done is you went and bought a Bandit, which yeah. was what, 180 bucks? Yeah, 189. It's a brushed Bandit. I'm not going to use the ESC or the motor. Yeah, so I the motor. I'm going to use the transmission, which is the same as the slash. Right. So the um, motor and the electronics in it basically are junk. Yep. You can use the receiver, the yep. radio, but the speed control and the motor are junk. We're we're just. I'm not sure what we're going to do with those. Yep. But the chassis, the suspension, the transmission, all that is good to go for a drag car. Yeah, absolutely. So um, when, you, when you convert a slash, what you do is you buy the bandit control arms, which are already here. You buy the steering links, the camber links. Um, you shorten the drive shafts, which we won't have to do. Um, you basically take everything off this chassis and put it onto this chassis. This is a slash chassis with a low center of gravity. Hand. Nice. So the only thing you have to do for this swap really is take the rear suspension off, take the front suspension off and swap everything over to this uh, slash LCG chassis. And really you're only in this, if you're using this system anyway, 189 plus this was $30. You're in this for $220 to get you going. You know, you buy the wheels and tires that you need. Might only be in it about $300 before electronics. You get a motor. Um, this motor was uh, 100 bucks, and this ESC was 150. But you don't need that. You don't need that expensive of a motor and ESC to just get started. If but you want to, to compete, be, you do. To be competitive, <laughs> you do. Right. So. I mean, overall, you're looking at 189, maybe 250 with your wheels and tires and stuff. Throw a body on it. Throw a body on it. Throw this chassis pan on it. Motor ESC. So if somebody wanted to just buy one for their kids, you know, for a little kid, just to run on the blacktop in front of the house or and play with, that's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, that's you, pretty cheap. You might be in it for 500 bucks. But you're not going to go to a cash days and do anything but be cannon fodder first round with that brush motor. No. No, um, if you wanted to just put around with this ESC and motor, you could. Yeah. Uh, with a, you know, drag conversion, the body and everything. But if you wanted to go faster, you're gonna have another 250. So probably being at 550, 600 bucks. But it'll be just as fast as that gold car. Nice.
for 550 or 600 bucks and i've got about 750 800 in the gold car hmm. so this is going to save me about 200 nice and the bandits are still available yeah. <laughs> Unlike the slashes that are sold out. <laughs> you can't get them anymore. So a, lot of, a lot of people, you know, they say they have to be a short horse based chassis. Well, that happens when you do this. Right. It's not it's no longer a bandit once you change the chassis. Right. It's 2.48 a.m. I don't even know what day it is. I think, let's see. Tuesday? Is today Tuesday or is it technically Wednesday? I think it's Tuesday. Oh, I don't know what day it is. It's 2.48 in the morning. Do we sleep? A little. A little. We're out here working on another RC drag car. This time we've built a Z28 Camaro. And the plan is, Billy's going to race it a little bit, test it, make sure it runs good. And then I think he's going to give it away on Street Racing Channel. Is that the plan? That's the plan. That's the plan. Check this thing out. He's mounting the body right now. Two-tone blue silver Z28. All the decals, all the pin striping, taillights, door handles, Z28 emblems gorgeous blue and silver two-tone all the black around the windows is painted on brand new wheels and tires brand new motor brand new speed controller everything brand new never been run you'll see this one on street racing channel here soon we're gonna do a giveaway probably do some merchandise as tickets or something haven't figured it out yet okay so keep your eyes open for this one fellas this thing's beautiful. Tell them what this thing is. It was a it was a bandit or it was a bandit originally. We just started with a bandit tonight, a and bandit we, buggy. And we got a slash low center of gravity chassis under it. Yeah. What we used for the last two drag cars we made that have done really well. Um, and we're gonna put a Trinity. It's got a Trinity five turn motor, drag motor, and a Mamba X ESC. So it'll be. Uh, a top contender at some of these no preps it'll do well and the body is really aerodynamic like i think personally i feel like we should probably build one yeah to be honest i really like that body i think when i build my see we've got plans over here for a gas one even though there's no gas classes i don't give a shit this one's gonna be, I guess, for me. But this is a rustler we're going to transform into a nitro drag car. It's kinda of cool. I'm gonna leave the electric start on it the whole nine yards. I'm gonna get a better tune pipe. And we've got a chassis ordered for it. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But I'm thinking that I might do mine up all aluminum suspension just to make it fancy because i don't know if it's going to be a comp i don't know if it'll be competitive as a nitro car i don't know i don't really care i just want something that for the kids to see at the track you know and um you know some some of these no prep tra races we go to we may take these cars with us and if we have an oil down or late at night we need something to do we might get these out and run them in the staging lanes huh oh absolutely absolutely Plus my blazer, I'll bring my monster truck with me. That'd be a blast this summer. Oh, hang on. Plus I got that thing. Fifth scale, two cycle, weed eater engine. Fifth scale, four wheel drive, stadium buggy. And then Billy's got a, what is that, a sixth scale? Six scale Losey Baja oh. Ray 2.0. Yeah, he's got a six scale Losey Baja Ray 2.0. It's badass. It's electric, but it's badass. It, <laughs> it freaking flies. 
we're gonna have a good time this summer aren't we we're not putting on no races we're not promoting no races we ain't working at no races we're just racing that's the shit i'm talking about